but I wouldn't say that I'm very fond of them. I, 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 I admire them the way that they're formed and I think they are like quite unique creatures and there's lots more that you can observe when you take a closer look. So that fascinates me more than being fond of them. Motivation, I would think, is uh, I think they are quite unique. Like, say, they are so tiny, but there's so much happening, like on the surface, and when you look at the joints and the layers, and the, you know, there's a lot happening, but they are little creatures that you don't, I mean, it's not obvious. So, it's, I'm fascinated about the fact that you have to take a really close look to see these. Mag magnificent uh, details that they have so that that for interests me a lot just because it's not obvious you have to really take a deep look to see all these amazing details the hexapoda collection was um, a combination of their surfaces and how the anatomy is formed so I didn't want to just look at the insects and just make a insect print for instance I thought that would be too obvious I want to get inspired by more core like the, the things that are to do with the core of the um, the formation so that uh, it's, it's a bit more in-depth analysis that comes out into a design so, I mean, it would have been a bit easier to just print them on a fabric, which is also nice, I, I'm not underestimating it. But uh, I, I personally like to, I mean, anyway, as a person, I would like to observe things in, into detail and bring out something that is not too obvious to die, because that's what interests me. Um, so, yeah, so. quite in inspired by uh, the human body so for me whatever I do that's my key inspiration I mean how uh, you know the, when you take the female figure or the male figure and the body contours I think it's amazing so I whatever I do when I, whether it's a tight fitted garment or a loose fitted garment I really like to work with the curves of the body clothing is like um, a building that you make for a you know for a person so clothing is like a building so it's it's it, that's something like you know these facial qualities it's something that really inspires me and always have inspired me even when I was a student uh, I think high fashion definitely is an area that people in Sri Lanka are moving towards um, I mean, at one point the market was not really ready for it because people could not relate to high fashion. It was more, what do I wear when I go to a wedding or what do I go wear when, you, when I go to a party or something of that sort. Now you can see that Sri Lankans or like people who live in Sri Lanka definitely can relate to high fashion. Um, so yeah, high-end high fashion, couture, you know, they, they are becoming more familiar. Those words are becoming more familiar to the Sri Lankans. to mention about the positive side about the fashion industry in Sri Lanka I would think that you know a um, lot of a um, lot of customers or a lot of people are interested in wearing locally sourced fabrics and locally designed uh, attire so I think it's a really great opportunity mm, and also I think uh, Sri Lanka the fashion industry has immense potential because everybody's in, excited about fashion. Like a lot, there we can see that a lot of people are starting retail stores and people are doing a lot of pop-up events. So you can see all of a sudden that there's a there is a lot of things happening in the fashion arena. Everybody's excited about fashion, so that that's a great thing. And the the downside is that end of the day, Sri Lanka is a very small country. So and from a retailer's perspective. Especially, I would think, you know, you, you feel it a bit because there's only so much you can grow within the country. You know, you, when you talk about expansions and things like that, um, you have to be very mindful about the, uh, the, the market. So the market is a bit small. I mean, market is excited, but then market is not massive because it's natural because the country is small. After 
graduated and I straight away joined MMA because that's what I want to do. But back in my mind, the game plan was to have my own brand. So I was I was with the MMAs because I wanted to get that experience, like exposure, and you know, and it has to be the right time to start my own thing. So I launched my brand uh, somewhere halfway. I would think I worked for MMAs like for about thirteen years and just resigned actually. Uh, but the brand I started a bit before I um, left MMAs because I wanted to do a test run and see how how it is so that it's. Uh, uh, that you know, I was ready to take it on, you know, completely. So because uh, because I've worked at MMAs and also because I come from a probably a background where I I had that freedom to get that exposure. Um, it was not difficult for me to relate to fashion. So I I would think it it I mean nothing is easy. I've worked quite hard at you know to get to where I am. For me, I think the challenge was balancing the work that I was doing uh, at MAs and also balancing the work that I was doing with my brand. And then you know I decided that I am ready to take my um, brand full time and then um, kind of uh, take it in into a different level altogether. Uh, but. I think time management has been always a challenge because I'm somebody who always likes to do a lot of things at the same time. But then, you know, you can't do something halfway as well. So it's about trying to do multiple projects because I enjoy it. I think as a person, my strongest trait is that I never give up, like never ever, like I would not give up. It's not in my vocabulary even. So that's, I think, one of my traits that I want to continue having and something that is uh, strong about my personality. Um, I think I'm a, I'm a person who um, puts heart and soul into whatever I do. So I really enjoy what I'm doing. Um, so that's a trait that I have benefited from because I've always enjoyed any project that I do because otherwise for me there's no point doing anything if you don't like what you're doing. I really mean what I say and I'm really um, passionate about what I say as well. So I think being genuine about what you say and what you do is another, I think that's one of my traits as well. There are times where you just need, you need that boost. You just need uh, a lot of um, uh, push from external parties as well. But I have to say that I have, I have a fantastic support system. Like you know, I have my family is fantastic. My husband always supportive of me, and my business partner Ramona is like a fantastic friend and a partner who's always pushing me. So I have a, I'm quite blessed to have that much of support, um, you know, it's that much of a, this thing around me because then things are not that bad. Even it's really tough, there are people to kind of uplift you as well. Um, so I think I am inspired by my dream. And I am happy that I have all these people around me who will push me towards my dream as well because I generally, all I generally work towards my dream and I've always been a person like that um, so I think self you have to be self-inspired and then you know it's nice when you have others also to inspire you I was definitely cut out to be a designer although I studied bioscience and all it was useless for me later onwards um, I, I definitely was cut out to be a designer because when I look back at my past, uh, I used to design my own clothes and I used to design my own shoes. And uh, yeah, it's not just dolls clothing, but I used to design my own clothes anyway when I was small. Um, so it, it's something that I always want to do, uh, be and always want to do. So. I would like to tell anybody who wants to start a fashion career or a fashion business 
uh, is that you really need to work hard. I mean, there's no shortcut. You just have to work hard and smart. So you can just work hard and not really be smart about what you do. So you need to figure out that balance about how you do effective work and productive work. Um, because like I said, time management is very important if you're doing your own brand. And uh, you have to um, you know, keep on learning because for me, I think there's a lot that I want to learn and a lot that I have to learn. Um, so for me, it's a matter of being passionate about what you're doing. So then you keep on working hard and also, you know, you keep on learning because it's evolving, you know, like fashion industry evo is evolving. You can't be doing the same thing that you're doing for 10 years. So it's, it's nice to evolve with time, keeping your identity and give something special to the industry. Need to be better informed? Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. News worth knowing from Sri Lanka's national newspaper. Daily News. Be better informed.